Okay, video five, we're going to take a look at connectors and connection points in Microsoft Video. Yeah, it's still me, uh, Joel Feenstra here, and we're going to go and roll through those and how we utilize them inside of drawings because we want to place so many connection points all over our diagrams, and then we want to be able to go and start using connectors to jump in between them. And we're going to work at modifying the connectors in upcoming videos. For now, we just want to drop connection points and then work with the connectors themselves. So we're going to move to our Microsoft video. When we left off after last uh, video, we had gone through grouping. <coughs> Excuse me. And we had created this wonderful little screw head that we had, right? It's just a standard slot slash Robertson head that we have over there. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go and create, we can uh, shrink and enlarge that one as we go, but we're going to go and create some connection points on it. What connection points will allow us to do would be use this as a terminal screw on devices that we go and create. Okay, up top, right over here, we have got some lines and connectors that we have over here. I got my basic pointer tool that I use to go and select stuff, but I've got connection points and connectors. Connection points are anchors that we can tie connectors to. Connectors themselves are obviously gonna be the things that go between shapes. What we do with the connection point is we drop it onto an object. Now there's a not so you know intuitive way of doing this. If I just click on that and try to drop a connection point, it does nothing. If I just click on the object and then try to drop it, it still does nothing. It just allows you to kind of select inside of components. What you need to do when working with the connection point is you need to select the object that you're going to drop it on. So in this case, it's that group of the lighter yellow and the darker yellow. And then you're going to have to hold down the control button. Okay, if you're not holding down control, it's not going to work. But when I hold down control, Notice how I'm hovering over this line. I'm going to press control and all of a sudden my pointer changes and you can see that I've got the option to start dropping connectors. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to go and drop a connector. Now, you'll note that it doesn't necessarily give you the very top component. You know, it's going to try and snap to a certain extent. So you're kind of eyeballing some of these over here. We're going to stick four around the perimeter of these ones over here. We're going to eyeball these ones for now. I'm going to show you a more accurate way to do that in a second. I release control where right now you should see this little purple dot that's over there, it doesn't zoom in. You see these little gray dots that are gonna be up here and these are gonna be active connection points. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my pointer tool. Doesn't look like anything on the drawing itself because these are software based. When you print it, these things are not going to go and show. But what I can do now is I can copy this entire screw head that I have here. So control C and then paste, control V. Now I've got a second screw head and we can just imagine that we've got you know a bunch of these that are gonna be laid out. I'm actually gonna paste out a whole pile of them real quick. Okay, and we'll do the same thing where we're going to do that alignment and we'll do a distribution. So we'll just align these things all to the middle and then we'll go and distribute these things horizontally. And all of a sudden, oh, they're kind of close together. We'll just move that one way over there, just using the arrow key and we'll just distribute these again, position, distribute horizontally. Perfect, they're a little bit more space now. What we have now is we've got these shapes with this hidden property called connection points. And what we're going to do now is we're going to utilize our connector. Now the connector itself allows us, as soon as I bring this thing active, bring it close, so you see those four gray points are getting highlighted on there. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you get enough you know, resolution, but there's four gray points and I can bring this thing right to one of those gray points. And if I click on one of those gray points, I can then start dragging a connector from there anywhere else. And when I bring it close to other points, it starts to highlight those other points. So I'm just gonna bring it close to a point and then I'm gonna release it. And it's gonna jump just like that from one point over to the other. Okay, we'll take this one over here. We'll try a couple different ones. And then we're gonna deal with just a little bit of um, stuff there just about alignment. Okay, we snapped three lines on here. Now it looks kind of like the lines are all inside of the same area. It's because they default routing. It just kind of kept everything all together. If you click on your pointer tool and then click on a line, you'll see little blue boxes here in the corners, middles, corners and middles of any section, those are going to allow you to go and drag these things around so you can start to, you know, free stuff up so it doesn't look quite, you know, as much as if those con uh, components are directly over top of each other. So what you see right now is that we have got these components over here that are connected via those connectors. Now this connection over here, I'm going to just change that line, make that line red. I'm going to take this line over here. I'm going to go make that line blue right now. 
we've got a black on there. What we can see is that anytime the lines cross, it automatically places the hop in there for us. And secondly, these lines are tied to this object. Watch this. If I start to rotate this object, those lines stay connected to that point. You got a drawing where you know you kind of ran lines to the wrong point. You're able to actually rotate those connections because it tied specifically to that. We are then able to go and rotate that line itself. They're a really handy thing. The only thing that you do have to watch out for is what we're seeing over here, where these lines will sometimes superimpose over top of each other, and then you just have to manually do just a little bit of adjustment. Here, I'll zoom in so I can see that. Uh, do a little bit of adjustment to go and get them, you know, for, so that they're not sitting right directly on top of each other. Honestly, this one here would be far better off to go and route around the outside like that. You have a far clearer look to it. You'll get good at routing these lines if you do enough of them. You note how much clearer this diagram is, you know, seeing these three in series, than when it was, you know, with everything crisscrossing over top of that. Okay, that is your connectors and your connections. We will pretty these up. We will make these look far nicer and like actual conductors, but that's still coming up in the next video.